In this session, we're going to look at how we can upload content to a BIM 360 team project. As you can see, I've just logged into BIM 360 team. I'm going to select my project. I'll choose Fish Pond Road Improvements. When I get into the project, I can see the directories that we made earlier. I'd like to upload content into each of these folders. I'm going to start with Plan Sheets. And then I can upload in two different ways. I can use this menu. Let me click. You can see some of the options I have available. I'm going to choose File. And then I'll navigate my hard drive to the directory containing my data. I'm going to go into this DWFs folder. And in here I have a plan set I'd like to put up for the team to review. I'll select the first file. I'll hold my Shift key and select the last file. And then I'll come down and click Open. Now as these files are uploaded and processed, I don't have to wait. I can continue working. Let's go back up to the project level. I will then come down and choose the Design Documentation folder. In here, I'd like to add a PDF. Let's try uploading a different way. I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer. We'll navigate to that same folder. I'll jump into this PDFs directory. I can also upload data using drag and drop. Let me just drag this in and I'll release. Same as before, while that file processes, I'm going to go back to the project level and I'll choose Aggregated Models this time. Once again, I'll bring up Windows Explorer. And I'm going to select this file within my models directory. This one's called Prop Underground Utilities. This is an NWD file. It was created using Navisworks. I'll go ahead and drop this in. Now, while that file processes, let's go back to the top level and we'll take a look at our plan sheets. Note that we can view uploaded content two ways, in a list like this, or I can view them as thumbnails by clicking this icon in the upper right. Let's flip back to the list. To open a file, I'll click on it. When you select a file, it will open up in this environment called the Large Model Viewer. The type of file that you open will control the number of tools that you see in this interface. In this case, I'm working with a plan sheet. This was printed from Civil 3D as a DWF. It is two-dimensional. We can see that by this icon in the upper left corner. In this environment, I can pan and zoom just like I can in Civil 3D or AutoCAD. I can roll the mouse wheel forward or back to zoom in and out. I can hold the wheel down to pan. So using those two functions, I can very easily navigate and review this sheet. Now, if you are a Civil 3D user, you'll notice that the mouse wheel zoom direction is inverted. To change that, you can come down and click the Settings button, then choose Navigation and Selection, and you can reverse the direction right here. Let me close this. I'd like to review another sheet. Let me go back up one directory, and then I'll select this Plan and Profile sheet. Let's zoom in, and I'll take a look at this corridor. One of the reasons why I like using the DWF format for my plan sheets is that this DWF can retain much of my civil object data. For instance, I'm going to click the Properties pane, and then I'll come over and select the Sanitary Manhole. When I do, we can see the same data that's available in Civil 3D. And that goes for all the objects. Let me zoom in. I'll select this pipe. We'll select the surface and the corridor. So even though this is a 2D plan sheet and virtually none of these items are labeled, I can still access that underlying data by printing these sheets to DWF. Let's close the Properties pane. I'm going to back up to the Project Level directory, and I'll come down and choose Design Documentation. In here is that PDF specifications book that we uploaded. I'm going to select this. That PDF then opens up in the large model viewer. This is a 510 page document. Notice that all of the hyperlinks are retained. So I can easily navigate this by clicking these hyperlinks. I can roll the mouse wheel to jump from one page to the other. Let's go down a little bit more. Another way I can navigate a large PDF is by moving my cursor to the top of the screen. In the upper right here, we'll find a bookmark menu. If I open this, I have access to all the bookmarks in this document. So I can use these to navigate the various chapters and specifications as well. Now that I'm finished looking at the PDF, let's back up to the project level folder, and I'll come down and choose Aggregated Models. Here we have the NWD file that we uploaded. I'm going to select this. This opens up in the large model viewer. I can tell this is a 3D file based on the icon here in the upper left. And even though this is 3D, I can navigate this as easily as a 2D document. Once again, if I hold the mouse wheel down, I can pan. If I roll the wheel forward or back, I can zoom in and out. If I hold the left mouse button down, I can orbit around the model. 
Knowing that, I'm going to orbit around and let's zoom in on this structure. Same as with the 2D document, this model is also capable of holding my civil engineering data. I'm going to select this structure and then I'll bring up the properties pane. And once again, we can see the same information that's available in Civil 3D. When I'm finished reviewing the model, we'll return to the project level folder. As you can see, using BIM 360 Team, it's very easy to upload and review project-related content. The best part is, you don't have to be a CAD expert to collaborate on a design. Using the Large Model Viewer, everyone is able to participate in the review process. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.